on this heat with Storm Team Chief Meteorologist Dave Nussbaum. Yeah, are we going to get a break anytime soon, Dave? A little bit. Tomorrow is still going to be hot, but we're going to be dodging a few more storms coming in. And then a front comes in going to help to break up the heat just a little bit, but especially that humidity. Right now, downtown, we're not looking at uh, much in the way of uh, rain at all here. A little cloud cover still from our BJCC camera. 80 degrees out there. The dew points dropped down a little bit. It was in the mid 70s earlier, now down to 68 degrees. Not quite as sticky out there as we've been the last couple of nights. It's 80 and Nashville, but 73 in Gadsden with some rain. Showers Anderson back to Talladega in the 70s there. 76 Alabaster and as cool as 73 over in Hamilton. You can see some of those storms coming out of Chilton County, Coosa County, back to Southern Talladega, Lee counties here. Uh, the rain's kind of raining itself out. The thunder and lightning we had earlier now just leaving to us to some nice steady rain, which is good. We need this rain here with those dry conditions out there. Much of the area kind of in an abnormal or level uh, one to level two drought across the area. Heading further off to the north, Gadsden area back towards say Jacksonville and into say Weaver over toward Aniston picking up some light rain here continuing to fall. We'll see this for the next hour, two hours here before most of this kind of rains itself out. Much of the rest of the area to the west is pretty dry, but notice down to the south I'm tracking a little thunderstorm down here. This one's going to continue working its way up into parts there of Green and Hale counties. Uh, so we'll keep watch this one. Greensboro, you're probably hearing the thunder, seeing the lightning off of the distance. It's working its way to the north. Hasn't really fallen apart yet, but give it another 30 minutes to an hour, likely as it works its way north may not even get to Tuscaloosa before it dissipates here. And that's what a lot of the storm has been doing throughout the day today with that onshore southerly flow, really humid air, courtesy of Burrow, which is now here. Burrow is a actual a tropical depression now. It's going to be working its way into a front here. And as that happens, as it moves to the north, eventually we'll see this feeder band you see coming up from Lake Charles here, right over towards, say, Vicksburg and wrapping its way up toward Little Rock. That band is going to come here as we get to tomorrow, helping to spark off some showers and some thunderstorms. But latest bear right Right now does have winds of 35. It's a tropical depression here. We'll continue working its way across parts there of Arkansas. Back near Shreveport today, 64 tornado warnings were issued by the Shreveport National Weather Service today. Just incredible with that. Now, as the storm moves to the north, tornado threat will move north with it as well, too. And we'll get that little band coming in, but it'll likely lose its tropical characteristics tomorrow and just be a rainmaker as it gets to the Great Lakes area. And you can see here, there's that band of rain kind of working its way toward the state line tomorrow afternoon. During the day, it'll come through our area here, bringing us some showers, maybe some brief gusty winds around 20 miles per hour as it moves in. But then that front follows behind it, and that's going to bring us some less humid air. So overnight tonight, some clouds, some patchy fog in the 70s. You'll see here from lunchtime to the afternoon, we'll start seeing those scattering of storms. That line there, I think, will be a little more organized than what this shows, but that'll move through during the afternoon hours, kind of clearing as we get that front coming in by Wednesday morning. And then Wednesday afternoon, it's not going to be as hot. We're only going to be in the 80s out there. Some sunshine, but there's northern winds you see here out of the northwest going to knock down that humidity and actually make it feel a little bit more comfortable here as we get into the Wednesday, Thursday, Friday time frame. The humidity slowly goes back up for the weekend, but notice the transplant games. The weather may have a couple storms tomorrow. Temperatures around 90, but looking good and dry and becoming less humid as we head into Wednesday and the heat index not going to be a problem. Tomorrow may get close to 107, but after that, only temperature humidity in the heat index is going to be around 93 to 100 degrees, so not looking all that bad as we get through the rest of the week. Just have to get through tomorrow. So another hot, humid day tomorrow. 92 degrees, 88 there for Wednesday. And then the humidity stays down, but gradually goes up this weekend. And so do the temperatures back around 97 for Saturday and Sunday.